What's up guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to create the animated black bars and color correction effect that I've seen in a lot of videos lately. It's a quick and easy way to add some flair to your videos and make yourself stand out from other content creators. So, I already have Last a clip on my timeline. Standing. The announcer says, last player standing, and I want to add the animated black bars and color correction starting at the announcer's voice and ending when I die. First, place the playhead where you want the animation to start. Hit B on your keyboard for the blade tool, then click on the playhead to split your clip. Go to where you want your clip to end and do the same thing. Next, go over to the inspector panel, scroll down to cropping, and double click to expand the drop down menu. Make sure the playhead on your timeline is where you want the animation to start. Then click the diamonds next to top and bottom crop to create keyframes. Then go to the spot in the video where you want the animation to stop. I typically do one second, so to jump ahead one second, just hold shift and hit the right arrow key. Now go back to the cropping and set the top and bottom crops to 120. You can animate the end if you want, but I like just letting it end. For color correction, we're going to go into Fusion. Make sure your clip is selected and your playhead is on your clip. In Fusion, make sure the playhead is at the beginning of your clip. If it's not, just hit the skip back button. Hit control space to open the tool selection menu and search for color curves and add it. Next, search for color corrector and add that as well. To add these nodes to your scene, simply hold shift and drag and drop them between your media in and media out. For curves, I make an S curve to make the darks darker and the brights brighter. For color corrector, I like to add a blue tint to make the scene more dramatic. Setting the tint to 0.6 and the strength to 0.3 looks good to me. To animate these settings and make them fade in, we're going to go over to the settings tab in the inspector panel. Make sure you're at the beginning of your clip, change the blend to zero and set a keyframe. Then go forward one second, which in this case is 60 frames, and change the blend to one. We're going to do the same thing for curves. Another thing I like to do is add some dramatic music to the scene. I found some royalty free dramatic music on YouTube, so I'm going to add that to my timeline. I fade it in with the black bars, then cut it at the end of my clip. That's it guys, here's the before. Last player standing. And the after. Last player standing. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or tutorial requests, and feel free to link one of your videos if you use this effect. I'd love to check them out. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. My name is Joe, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you have a clip you'd like to submit? Head on over to the link in the description to access our clip submission form for a chance to be featured in a future video.